Birkenhead, one of the poorest towns in England. How much do you know about Birkenhead? Either little or too much, did you know that Birkenhead is one of the poorest towns in England? What does the facts really show? That's the purpose of this video. Birkenhead is a town and ferry port in England located in the metropolitan borough of Wirral, Merseyside. This town may or may not be popular with many of our audience, depending on what they are searching for. If you want to know more about Birkenhead, it has been featured in one of our videos profiling towns in England. We've discussed other towns and cities considered to be listed among the poorest. For now, it is the turn of Birkenhead. Let us focus on it. The town's official position. It's quite commendable that the officials of the town aren't denying the obvious, that their town is one of the poorest. They're unlike other politicians who selectively employ statistics to highlight projects whose effects aren't being felt by the people, just to score political points. For instance, Mick Whitley, Birkenhead's Member of Parliament, once admitted, Birkenhead is one of the most deprived towns in the country, adding that the town has two of the poorest wards. He also said, our unemployment levels and our claimant count are above average. Also, Councillor Pat Cleary, one of the three ward councillors for the town and Tranmere, cited a shift in the societal order at Birkenhead, at Wirral Council, that shocked the political elite. He blamed this sordid situation on a combination of factors such as underfunding, bad town planning and wider trends around shopping habits. He also decried the city's lack of a mass transit system as denying the people the opportunity of getting around without a car. Councillor Steve Hayes is another councillor whose words are weighty when it comes to Birkenhead's situation. He was taken to the town at age two and he surely knows his onions when he speaks about the town. He described the town as one without a local plan for many years while citing a few abandoned projects. One of the reasons he gave for the poor state of the town is that the huge investments made for the town have been allowed to go downhill progressively. He also lamented a lack of funding. Birkenhead in the past. Birkenhead used to be the beating industrial heart of Wirral. For hundreds of years, the ferries across the Mersey were a common feature of the town. They aided to build a bridge to trading in Liverpool since the 14th century. The first underground railroad in the world, which was built in 1886, also aided huge growth along the east coast of the peninsula. That is why Birkenhead became part of the New York of Europe. The development was sustained till the next century. In fact, in the 1960s, this boom ensured that the unemployment levels in Wirral were as low as 2.5%. A change in fortune. In the last few decades of the 20th century, fortune started to move on toward the negatives. Those decades of decline and neglect brought untold hardship and difficulty to the people. Its heritage and identity started disappearing and were eventually lost in the face of unemployment and stagnation. It got so bad that the unemployment rate in Birkenhead reached 35% in 1993. It was even worse among men as 52% of them had no job. Up till now, you would see rows of empty shops there. Honestly, everything is wrong with Birkenhead as one of the poorest towns in England. We do not have to gaze about to see. The situation is likely compounded by massive cuts in the budget for years, which hits Wirral Borough Council so hard. This is believed to be a direct result of a political decision of the last 11 years by the Conservative governments. Deindustrialization, which caused the decline of industries in the town, also has a great effect. It's apparent in all facets of life. On the indices of multiple deprivation, this town fared so badly in all the domains. Its LSOAs are among the most neglected and the most backward in the country. That gives credence to the assertion by the lamenting officials of the town who said that their town is one of the most deprived towns in the whole of the United Kingdom. Since it has the areas with the lowest household income in Wirral, we too agree that Birkenhead is one of the most deprived areas there food and accommodation poverty in Birkenhead. You surely understand why a food bank is established in a town. It's because the poverty situation of such cities has become so obvious that the poorest people must be supported. Yes, there is a food bank in Birkenhead which is almost overwhelmed, having been stretched to the limits. In a recent report by BBC correspondents Suzanne Haley and Romiana Jangahir, the food bank says some of its users had not eaten for days. No thanks to the complications of the rising living costs, the food bank mentioned some people, including an elderly man who had to go four days without food. 
Due to high inflation rates, the highest in four decades, many people couldn't afford basic necessities. Donna Scully, co-organizer of the bank, said that they've assisted homeless people in the time past. So now their focus is on the people who can't afford to feed. Among several cases she referred to was that of a very thin elderly man whom she described as very shaky and who hadn't eaten for four days. He could not buy food, pay bills or get by. Volunteers at the centre had to feed him and give him a bag of provisions. It wasn't an isolated case. A heart attack survivor who just returned home to an empty home without food when he was discharged from the hospital was seen at the centre. Ms Scully said this man also couldn't pay his bills and had nothing to eat for a few days. Another regular user of the food bank said he resorted to borrowing from an energy provider to top up. Another thing observed about that lack of food is that many of those assisted by the food bank might not be able to cook such food if they had to cut back on energy. The temporary solution is to supply them with foods that are easy to heat, already cooked and that can be eaten as it is. However, the future is not looking bright under that circumstance. That can be a more serious food crisis in the next few weeks or months. Fuel poverty If anyone needs another proof that Birkenhead is one of the poorest towns in England, he should consider fuel poverty in the town. By the way, fuel poverty is generally defined as a situation whereby a household has to spend more than 10% of its total income on energy. This is the situation with one in five people in Wirral, including Birkenhead. According to the Wirral Intelligence Service, it was previously one in seven, but now it is getting worse. According to recent figures analysed by the local democracy reporting service, the LDRS, the number of people living in fuel poverty in Wirral has increased by almost 24,000 since 2020. Going by these estimates, the figures should now be more than 70,000 people in the borough. This number will continue to grow as energy prices continue to soar. Based on what energy companies told parliamentarians, average fuel bills as of the time of scripting this video is £3,528. And in the next two months, it will reach £4,266. And in six months, we should expect it at £4,427 per year. In 2020, there were four areas of this town that had one in five residents in fuel poverty. But now there are 11 areas. According to councillors and the parliament member, everyone in this ward is likely to end up in fuel poverty over the coming winter. He says, the number is going to rise and lots of people are working long hours for inadequate wages. Local authorities' efforts. Since the leaders of the town are not denying their situation, their efforts to improve things in this town might produce results. Council is making new plans that they say will change Birkenhead forever. Among these are the Green Industrial Revolution with the Mersey Tidal Project, the Mersey Bay Offshore Wind Farms and a Northwest Low Carbon Industrial Cluster, among others. Councillor Hayes mentioned earlier says, We have been pushing hard for the green agenda, the interconnectivity. There is some real joined up thinking here. It is a proper master plan. We are building eight strategic projects. Any one of them would be considered big in their own right. Please, what do you think about Birkenhead as one of the poorest towns in England? Kindly share your comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.